Hi everyone, this is Fadi and welcome to my channel If I Can Do It, You Can Do It. Today I'm showing you my old DIY filling machine and today I'm going to explain how it works and how you set it up and about the wiring diagram. I have a previous video about this machine in my channel, uh, explain how it works only. So today I'm going to cover everything about this machine. But before all of that, I'm going to just show you, for the people that didn't watch my previous video, how it works. Uh, in here I have three different uh, jars, different size. So for example, if I put the small one in here, it will not work. If I put the other size, it will not work. It's going to work only in this jar because I set up my machine to this jar. So let me put it. As you see. And we have here speed control. I can control the speed of the bump from here. Even during the filling, it will not affect anything. And even if I stop in the middle or any time, I can put it back. I'm going to start from the previous, you see. That's my target. And the jar is full. Let me just show you the parts. What I have here, I have the load control uh, display unit, and this is, uh, to be honest, this is the brain of my machine. I have the time relay uh, in here, switch as well, time relay switch in here, and I have the speed control. The speed control of the motor, we all know what for, like you just speed up the motor or you slow down the motor. The, uh, the, the switch time relay is just to give me some time when I put my jar in here, like one second before it's starting. And I have here a switch for the bump. If I want to clean this uh, tray or the scale, the switch on and it's back. Again, back and forth. There is no sensor. There is no switch, there is no nothing. Just work by the load and the weight of the jar and the filling. And this is the secret behind this machine. And what I have in here, I have this scale, I made it by myself. So even you can take it off for cleaning or surfaces. as you see in here, is all off. <clears throat> now let me show you how I set it up and let me show you uh, the wiring diagram in my computer. See you in a minute. So this is my wiring diagram. Uh, red is positive, uh, is, yeah, positive, uh, blue is negative, all the part, uh, I make it very simple for you guys, so you can follow this wiring diagram and do all the wiring. Uh, is that all? No. Uh, the reason that alarm 1 and alarm 2, when I say alarm 1 and alarm 2, I mean relay 1 and relay 2 inside the load controller has or shared the same uh, common, is number 7. And for me to work, I have to have separate common for each relay. So for this reason, let me move to the second uh, bit. Okay, guys, let us talk about the load controller and see all the boards from 1 uh, mark to 12. 1 and 2 if you have 220 volt AC. Uh, 1 and 3 if you have 110 volt AC. In my case, I'm going to use only the 1 and 2. Number three, I'm going to use it later on for something else. So I have to disconnect the 110 from inside and I will show you later on what I mean. Four and five and seven, it is the relay connection. We have two relays, indicate as alarm one, AL2, and alarm uh, alarm two, and alarm one. Uh, but the problem is that they share the same common, number seven. Number six is nothing connected. Number eight and number seven, you can create a switch and to reset it and uh, the, the, the scale. Nine, 10, 11, 12 is the load cell connection. And in my previous uh, 
drawing I showed you where the color should be connected now the problem I'm facing here is that number seven is shared common for the relay two and relay one in my case I the machine will not work in this case so I have to, uh, to create it another common for alarm one so for that I have to open the, the load controller from inside and let me just show you what I have done and I cut this one from here so uh, 7 is not anymore connected to L1 so I have to create it uh, I have to create it uh, what you call it uh, common for L1 so I have run a wire from here to number 3 and from number 3 from inside this one I cut it so this one become now the common for L1 and 7 become the common for L2 I mean alarm 1 and alarm 2 so, so on page 3 this is the load control from inside so what I have done if you see this wire here this yellow uh, green one I cut it from here but just by the knife and I make a wire from this alarm 1 all the way this is a wire the yellow one to if you remember number three which used to be uh, uh, 110 volt so this is what I have done let me move to page number four and show you from the other side so guys as you see this is the 110 I cut it from here and I connect the common for L1 to this board so if you let's go back to page number one you hey guys we are now in page one we back to page one and number three becomes the common for AL1 and seven now the common for AL2 only no more shared they are not shared with the common anymore uh, and this is the, the, the everything about my machine there is no more secret so I hope you enjoyed my video please if you really like it uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you very much for your watching